Yeah, so this is the first of a three-year partnership with the Arts Council Collection. What's a national collection of art focusing on British artists? So um, Arts Council Collection was set up in the uh, 60s to collect British artists, uh, or artists who live in Britain, um, and each year they collect different artworks to form their collection. So their collection holds most of the major British artists um, that you'd expect. So uh, this is the first exhibition in partnership with them that will run across three years, showing different exhibitions, uh, learning projects, community projects, um, digital uh, projects. And this is called Receive Wisdom. So this exhibition focuses on age and creativity. Um, and it's looking at uh, taking away that myth that creativity is for, is the, is the pursuit of youth really, and creativity and radical ways of thinking come through uh, youth. So this focuses on a series of artists in the collection that either started later on in life, or had recognition later on in life, or were collected later on in life. So all these artists are over the age of 45, um, often more into their sort of 70s. Um, so they represent an older basis of artists now. And it's looking at how their practice has developed over the years um, and how that radicalism has developed over the years and how their practice has developed to reflect the themes that they're looking at. So a lot of the artists in the shows have dealt with uh, illness and long-term illness that's affected their practice. So a lot of the works take into account uh, how how your body changes over the years and that, how that affects your, uh, your ability to work as an artist. Um, so the works in the show cover a lot of different topics, um, but they're all connected through a shared, a shared look at how ageing and creative, creativity um, is there as a, single, as a single idea to look at. So as you go through the exhibition, all of the artists work in lots of different mediums and with a lot, lots of different themes. Um, and, a, and a lot of the themes that are addressed uh, around current issues in life now, so um, equality and representation, so a lot of the works are by female artists that didn't always get the representation at the time when they were practising, but now retrospectively have got the recognition they deserve through their practices. So there's definitely a focus on artists from different backgrounds. So Herman Anderson looks at the representation of um, the black, uh, black identity in Britain and, and black culture and it's a celebration of a black culture in the UK but again in the arts um, in the 80s there was a big movement of the, uh, the black British art scene that didn't ever get the re recognition at the time that it deserved well, it was now retrospectively a lot of these important works that look at um, black identity and that representation of being black and what that means at a time that's often tricky uh, and often a negative association with being from a different cultural background. So these works celebrate that and look at a lot of these figures that are influential to black history. So you've got Martin Luther King. Um, so this work uh, sort of underpins that, the idea of the exhibition especially. So the work by um, the pioneering feminist artist Jo Spence um, and later on in her life, she, before she died, she dealt with um, breast cancer uh, and a lot of her works looked at that, uh, her living and practicing through having the life-limiting illness. Um, so this work is called Beyond the Family Album uh, and this is these panels from her life, so these are her own experiences of her family and living with illness often. Um, often, um, but they challenge that idea of what people set, save as ideas um, or what's put into a family album as only positive experiences like weddings and things like that. So no one records the, the, the more tricky sides of life. So this goes the other way, so it comes up with quite challenging subjects around illness and around abuse and these other issues that might come up through your life. 